all right then welcome back everyone so let's start with the uh, 900 rated questions now so i saw a lot of requests for this playlist so here i am and first things first uh, thank you so much for showering your praise and love on the 800 rated questions playlist so let's uh, start a new journey then 900 rated questions okay so uh, this time around what i'm gonna do is um, i'm not gonna waste so much time in reading the question i just uh, expect that you have come to this video by reading the question once right so that the video length can be shorter uh, because since we are into the 900 rated territory some questions might be a little bit difficult so i don't want to waste your time in reading the questions anyway this is a very easy question so depending on what is the question difficulty uh, i'll adjust my pace okay but i just expect from you guys that you have read the question once okay so let's solve this question uh, forked so lunchbox is done with playing chess this queen and king just got forked again so what is the meaning of fork is here they have explained so i don't know if you're familiar with chess but uh, when a uh, when a knight attacks two pieces of its higher value commonly the king and queen a fork happens so if you don't know how knight works is in chess if knight as a if knight is present in some cell here uh, the way knight works is it can go two steps in one direction and followed by one step in another direction that is it can either go let's say two steps horizontally followed by one step vertically okay or it can go let's say two steps <clears throat> two steps vertically followed by one step horizontally right so here if it has gone two steps horizontally like this uh, then vertically one step can be any of these directions if it has gone vertically like this horizontally can be like any of this right so all in all there can be one more like this okay there can be one more like this so all in all like if you see a knight if you see a knight here i have shown it has eight possible ways so this you can verify yourself right it's not very difficult to see two steps in one direction uh, followed by one step in another direction right so here you can see uh, I'll, I'll do i'll show you how it works so this then this 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 right so this how these are the eight possible places a knight can go a fork happens when a knight can attack both king and queen at the same time okay simultaneously you can see this knight can attack both king and queen so this is what they call a condition of fork fine so they have explained it fine but what they are saying is the chess that this guy lunchbox is playing it's a bit trickier trickier in the sense this horizontal step like instead of going in two steps in one direction followed by one step in another direction now they are saying we can go a steps in one direction followed by b steps in another direction right so this can be a this can be b assuming of course b is less than a and uh, this can be a this can be b right so something like this or maybe it can go uh, vertically b as well so there's one more possibility is like let's say vertically b followed by horizontally a right so in this chess what they're playing is instead of two steps in one direction they are saying a steps in one direction horizontal vertical whatever followed by one step in other direction horizontal vertical fine so if i talk about this knight let's say a was 2 a was 2 and b was 3 so if i show you some of the moves that this uh, knight can do here so two steps in one direction the two steps let's say horizontally followed by three steps vertically maybe one two three like this like this or maybe it can take three steps horizontally as well right so three steps horizontally like this followed by two steps vertically right so you got the point still there will be eight possible combinations only right still there will be eight possible combinations only that's one thing and of course it's not very difficult to observe uh, it doesn't really matter whether you go a steps in one direction like it doesn't really matter when you do a when you go a steps horizontally followed by b steps vertically this is same as going uh, b steps vertically followed by a steps horizontally right so this movement is symmetric i don't think it's very difficult to observe obvious right uh, if you move let's say a step horizontally followed by b steps vertically it is same as going b steps vertically first and horizontally so this order is really not that important fine so what is the question now so yeah the chess here that this lunchbox has uh, behaves a bit differently in the sense knights in lunchbox modified game move eight tiles in one direction and b tiles in another direction okay fine and lunchbox is playing a chess on infinite chess board okay so it's not a typical eight by eight chess board which contains all the cells x y okay fine it contains all the cells x y where x y are possibly negative integers fine so for every so chess board is like you can say it is arranged into cartesian coordinate system so maybe this is zero zero and all the other cells are located at different points in the cartesian coordinate system so that's what they're saying find the yeah okay lunchbox king and queen are placed in x k and y k so king and queen are placed somewhere maybe let's say king is placed here and queen is placed here okay find the number of positions of that if a knight was placed on that cell it would attack both king and queen all right so let's take an example so what they're saying is uh, king is placed somewhere here x k y k and queen is placed at x q y q right so king and queen are placed somewhere here now what they're asking is uh, find the number of positions find the number of positions such that if i place a knight there we can have a fork right this this is both like a fork can happen right so in other words find number of positions that if a knight was placed on that cell it would attack both king and queen so basically you can do a fork fine so input is nothing they have just given xk yk xq yq and fine for each test case output the number of position on infinite chessboard so that knight can attack both king and queen 
Okay, fine. Uh, the question is clear, right? You are given positions of king and queen, and you have to find out. So this will be in some coordinate system, right? Now you have to find out uh, positions in this coordinate system such that if you place a knight here, it can attack both king and queen, right? Okay. So how should we think about this question first? So we want to find out uh, the positions, basically the positions in the plane, such that if I put a knight there, it will attack both king and queen. And how can a knight move? A steps in one direction and B steps in another direction, right? So let us uh, see how this uh, king can be attacked. Let's say king is located somewhere here, x k and y k, right? So how can this king be attacked? So this king can be attacked uh, like in one way is uh, A steps uh, vertically might be taken by the knight, and first, okay. So A steps vertically can be taken, and uh, B steps horizontally can be taken, right? So it doesn't really matter what is the size of A and B, but yeah. So like this, so a knight can attack from this part, right? Uh, from this cell. Or maybe uh, E steps vertically and it can come from this direction as well, right? So a knight can attack from this part. Similarly, E steps vertically from here, B steps here, here. So it can be attacked from here, right? Then uh, E steps horizontally, right? E steps horizontally, E steps horizontally, then B steps vertically. So it can be attacked at some place here. Maybe the last step was E steps horizontally from here, then B steps from this angle. So, right, so knight can attack from here. E steps. Now, so, these are all the. What are these positions, by the way? What are these positions? So, all in all, what I'm saying is these are the positions, these eight are the positions from which, from which if a knight is placed, so these are all the positions on which if I place a knight, it will attack this king, right? So, there are eight positions. Similarly, you can find these eight positions for queen as well, right? So, similarly, Let's say the king is here. I'll just duplicate this part here, and uh, I just need to make it x q y q, x q y q. So from this eight positions, from this eight position, this queen can be attacked, right? Now to find out the position where I place them, uh, such in such a way that if I place a knight there, it attacks both king and queen. It's obvious, right? You do one thing. You collect all these eight points. You collect all these eight points from which if I on which if I place a knight, it attacks the king, and collect these eight points on which if I put a knight, it attacks the queen, and just find the intersection among them, right? So what I'm saying is. And collect all this in set one. Set one is basically set of all points. Set of all points such that if I place a knight here, it attacks a king. And set two is simply the set of all the points on which if I put a knight, it attacks a queen. So what you can do is just take the intersection of a intersection of them, right? So this will be the point from which if I put a knight, it attacks both king and queen. Simple, right? Nothing complicated here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna find these eight points from on which if I put a knight, it attacks the king. I'm gonna find the eight points on which if I put a uh, knight, it attacks the queen, and just find the intersection among them. And this can be done very easily using sets, right? So yeah, so that's that about uh, the concept. Let's uh, quickly code it up. All right, guys, uh, let's quickly code up the solution. So I've taken the input uh, a, b, x, k, y, k, and x, q, y, q. Now, first things first, uh, what we need to do is we need to define our directions, right? All eight directions from which uh, we are going to calculate the uh, attacking positions. So we have to find the attacking position for king as well as queen, right? So first we need to define those directions. So I'll just uh, create a vector of pair of int. So v, i, i here. But if you see here, I've written a definition for v, i, i, vector of pair of int. So I'm lazy. That's <laughs> those definitions there. But yeah, so let's define the directions. So usually, how do you define these eight directions uh, without any mental stress? First, define the directions when you are moving a steps horizontally. So that would be like first will be a, right? And then uh, next will be what? A minus b, right? A minus b. Then uh, it will be minus a, b. Then it will be minus a minus b. So you see what I did here? I knew I am taking I am moving horizontally. So the first coordinate will be a, and I've just distributed minus signs. Similarly, the second one will be I just distributed the minus signs, right? So now let's just uh, consider uh, the other four direction in which I'm moving uh, B steps horizontally followed by A steps vertically. So this will be similar, right? It will be B A, then it will be B minus A, then it will be minus B A followed by minus B minus A, right? Simple. Just uh, I've just uh, inverted these guys, right? Fine. So I'll define the directions. Now what I need, I'll need to create two sets, right? I need to create uh, two sets. So set of uh, Again, PII is for a pair of indent. So set one, set two. So I'm just basically now I'm gonna find out the attacking positions for king and queen. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all the directions for auto D directions, auto D directions. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first find out. Uh, uh, first, I'm gonna find out what is the attacking position for king. So xk plus d dot first, then int y equals to yk plus d dot second. So this is the attacking position for king, by the way. And I'm gonna insert it into the set st1 dot insert x y or maybe you can write a make pair also so what do you mean the make pair is uh, instead of writing x y like this uh, usually to make it more explicit you can use make pair here 
okay but in computer programming like you don't want to be explicit you just want to be fast right so yeah whatever both of the them can be used so what is this escape plus d dot first it's basically the attacking position for king right so now let's find the attacking position for queen it will be x q plus d dot first then it, it will be y q plus d dot second okay fine so i'm just applying this uh, direction by the way guys okay it's not that very difficult to observe here then st st2 dot insert make pair x y right cool so i've created the two sets i just have to find out the intersection between them right so two sets are created uh set one holds all the attacking positions for king set two holds all the attacking positions for queen now i just need to find the intersection between them i'll just initialize the answer here zero i'm gonna go through uh one of the sets so i'm just gonna go through let's say set one go through set one if you're finding this position in set two then uh, you found out a common position from which king and queen both can be attacked. You found a position from which a fork can happen, right? So if this position is found in found in set one and set two, then uh, of course uh, it is a position from which a knight can attack both king and queen. So I'll just simply write here uh, st two dot find pose not equals to st two dot end. Basically that is part part of st two as well. And I'm just going to increment the answer. Fine. Nothing complicated here. And finally I'm just going to output the answer. Right. So what I did here, uh, let me just quickly see. So this is the input. Fine. This I have defined all the eight directions. Then I created two sets to hold the attacking position for king and queen. Then I found out the attacking position king and queen, and then just found out the intersection between them. Right. So the input I have taken here. So the answer should be two one two zero. Just quickly run it. Okay. This should be this. Right. Mm -hmm. This I guess you might have noticed. So two one two zero. Fine. So that's that. I guess it works. I'll just quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.